Good morning and welcome to Vlogtober Day 21. It is just about 10 o'clock in the morning. We're having kind of a late start. She is having her oatmeal now and some plum and I'm going to probably make myself a smoothie and then sit by the space heater because it is so cold. So yes, it is Monday and it is two, the two week grocery shopping day for me and I already made my list yesterday, you guys saw that. Um, and I did think of a few things that I still needed to add to it so you know, there is still room in the budget to add a couple things, so I'm going to add those. And yes, that is what the plan is for today after breakfast to go out and go grocery shopping. And maybe I'll do a haul when we get back. You guys, we've been singing Let It Go to Evie for the past couple weeks, just singing it to her. She's never seen it, but she loves the song. So I finally just started playing it for her. She is hooked. Adorable, but I'm sitting here drinking my smoothie in front of the fire. <laughs> Did you hear her? What are you singing? What are you saying? Let it go. <laughs> what? What do you want to sing? <laughs> what? Applesauce. Applesauce? You say let it go? Let it go. Let it go. You want some smoothie? This is um, mango, pineapple, banana, almond milk, collard greens, flax seed. Uh, I think that's it. Delicious. Alright, so I don't know what I've done. I might have created a, uh, a frozen monster, but... What can you do? Little girls have to watch princess movies, right? And she already loves the song. I mean, she hasn't seen the movie. She just keeps listening to the song over and over again. But I'm freezing because I had that smoothie and we're about to go outside to go shopping and I'm cold. So I made a little bit of tea before when I made my smoothie. I put this on, put the tea water on. Uh, so I'm gonna drink this really quick. Hopefully it will warm me up before we head out. Alright, so I am back from my grocery shopping trip. I, uh, this was a rough one because since Evie woke up late, we had breakfast late, we didn't get out till much later, and it's funny, regardless of what time she wakes up in the morning, she still wants her, like, early afternoon nap around the same time, so around, like, 11 30, 12, and we didn't leave the farmer's market until after 12, so we didn't leave the grocery store until after like 1.30, and she was so exhausted. I felt so terrible, but I mean, we made it through. She basically opened and snacked on whatever I could give her that would just calm her down, and then sure enough, as soon as we left the grocery store, she, she fell right to sleep. So she's upstairs sleeping now, and I'm going to show you my grocery haul. Alright, so farmer's market first. You guys know I like to spend, my budget for the two weeks is $50 for the farmer's market. So I spent, I think, $30, $38. So I have a little bit left over for next week if I need to pick up some more produce. But I got a butternut squash, which kind of pained me because my dad has butternut squash in his garden. But I totally forgot to pick one up when we were there yesterday. And I needed it for this week, so it's okay. I bought one. I got onions and avocado. I still have more avocado, so I just got one. I got a big thing of kale. It's up wrapped in two bags, but nice big thing of kale. I got some cilantro, some celery. I got chia seeds, walnuts, two things of dates. I got some apples here, which also pained me because all my uh, orchard apples are gone, which is so sad. Um, I got some pears. I got two things of bananas. I got some uh, shiitake mushrooms and regular just button mushrooms, two things of carrots. Um, these bagels were from the farmer's market. Those will be for my husband. These chips are also from the farmer's market. These Garden of Eden, I love them. You can see Evie already got into them. And some romaine lettuce. That's basically all I got. It seems like a little bit, but again, I always go back the second week and pick up more things. So this is kind of enough for maybe like the first week. Um, now this is the grocery store side. I got milk for my husband, almond milk for me and Evie, and yes, I will admit I was totally drawn in by the packaging of this. Isn't it beautiful? 
and it's kind of like a matte finish. It's so pretty, but it was also on sale, and it was only about 50 cents more than the Silk brand, so I was like, well, let me give it a shot. And the Silk brand, they didn't have unsweetened um, original, they just had regular original, so it has like sugar in it. Um, so this was the unsweetened one that was available to me, so I picked it up. And the ingredients are even better than the Silk one. It's just almond milk, which is water and almonds, and then it's less than 2% of all those other kind of additives that you can't really get around unless you make it yourself. But I'm excited to try that. Um, okay, I got two things of cheese. These are also for my husband. Um, we're going to make tacos, so if he wants cheese for that, and then we're going to have pizza on Friday, so I got mozzarella for that. Um, I got some of my millet. Yay! Remember I was trying to get this last week, but I didn't. And I got the millet grits because they were on sale. And basically what I'm assuming is it's just really finely ground, so it might kind of um, mush up a little bit more. If you guys know what grits turn into, I'm assuming it'll be like that. But yeah, I'm really excited to try them. They're on sale for like $2, so totally a steal. Two things of lentils. I got two packages of granola bars. These are for my husband, chocolate chip and a honey and oat. And I actually do want to make some granola bars this week, hopefully. Uh, these two things of cereal are for my husband. This one is for Evie. Um, I got some baking soda. Got some white rice and brown rice because my husband doesn't really care for brown rice, so I always get him his own rice. I got some raw uh, demerara sugar. This is like, um, I mean, it's better for you than regular sugar. Obviously, it is still sugar, but it's not as processed, so I'm just going to pick that up for, I'm going to use it for a recipe and then just to have on hand. I got a little bit of olive oil. I got some oats because we are almost out of our oatmeal. I got some of this mayo. I just saw it today, but um, the recipe that I made with the chickpeas, the chickpea salad calls for mayo, but mayo has egg in it, so this has no egg in it, so it's vegan, basically. Um, this is bread for my husband. I got eggs for my husband. We needed band-aids, so I just picked these up. Um, I got two things of pasta. This is organic whole wheat fusilli, and this is whole wheat linguine. Two things of pasta sauce. They were on sale for a dollar, which was amazing. So I picked one up. I like this one. That's like 50% more, um, like healthy ingredients or something. I don't know. I like it. If what if I can read all the ingredients, I'm happy with that. Um, I got some peanut butter. I always put it upside down so that the oil starts to float to the top. And I got some flaked coconut, unsweetened. These will be for the um, granola bars. I got some chickpeas. I want to make that chickpea salad again. This, guys, this is a really good tip. I've been buying this for a long time now, and instead of buying, like, chicken stock or vegetable stock, which is what I would buy all the time, which can really add up, I've been buying this, and it's, like, vegetable base. It's bouillon, but this is the organic one, and they have regular as well, and it's just, like, a paste, a condensed paste of cooked vegetables basically so then you mix a little teaspoon of this with hot water and there you go you have some instant vegetable stock and it stretches so much farther and it lasts a lot longer um, this is $5.99 originally I've never hit a sale with this but if I did it would be an even better deal but I mean when you buy those like uh, the tetra packs of um, you know vegetable stock and stuff like that you can easily pay two three dollars for it so that is an awesome deal. I would highly recommend you picking that up if you're looking to save money, you know, if you buy a lot of vegetable or chicken stock or something like that. Because they do have the chicken version, they have a beef version, I just buy the uh, the vegetable one. Okay, so I got some olives. I got five things of low-sodium black beans because they're on sale five for four dollars, so I got five. And paper towels. And I think that is everything. So that is my grocery haul for the next two weeks. So my farmer's market is actually pretty close to a Dollar Tree and every now and then I need to hop in there and pick some things up. So I had in mind just like, what do I have? Two things that I need to pick up. Yeah, I got a few more things than that. So I thought I'd show you a little mini Dollar Tree haul. Uh, the first thing I picked up were these red and white bins. These are just like their really cheap like fold up bins but when I saw them, I just really thought they looked Christmassy to me. And I actually think the pattern, the real pattern, is nicer than what they show in the picture. This is much thicker and this is more of a thinner line. 
So I actually like what they look like for real better than what they show in the picture, but I think I'm going to use these for like Christmas storage, Christmas organizing, either, you know, within the bins that I already have, or like I have a lot of loose things that aren't quite in bins yet. Um, so I think this year when I'm putting away my Christmas things, I'll go ahead and break these out. Um, they're not like terribly large, so I don't know. We'll see. I just, I've learned over the years that if I see something at Dollar Tree, just pick it up because if you go back to get it, chances are it may not be there, especially something as specific as this, like certain things like the shoe boxes and stuff like that are always there, but these kind of like specialty items, um, I always just pick up. So because of that, I also saw these at the Dollar Tree and I've never seen these before. So when I saw them, I got so excited. I mean, I don't know, you guys let me know. Have you ever seen these at your Dollar Tree? They're like a pretty high quality plastic and it was $1 each. So it's definitely more expensive than like the three packs that you can get, but I really liked them. I liked that they were clear and so I picked up five because the same thing, you know, if I go back, like I don't have a project in mind, but if I went back to get them, there's a chance they may not be there. So I just went ahead and got five of them. They also came in a square, just like, um, maybe that wide, but square. So, um, you know, I didn't really think I would have a need for those. So I just picked up these long ones, but I have an idea in mind of where I could use them, but we'll see where I end up on that. So on that same line of thought, I did pick up a three pack of these white ones that are just the thinner quality plastic, but these are really great. I've used these all over. So I just picked them up to have on hand. And then the real reason I went in there was to get these, the uh, dishwasher detergent tabs that um, a lot of you guys have said that you can't find them at your Dollar Tree, but I've seen them every time I've been there. So there's a chance that like different states may carry things at different times. So I picked up a two pack or two packs, I should say, because I really like them. And then I also needed sponges. So I got just a two pack of sponges there and some more Brillo basic um, steel wool pads. I really like these for our sink and for our stainless steel uh, pots and pans and stuff like that. So that is my little mini Dollar Tree haul. So I opened up one of the uh, bins and this is how big they are. They are pretty small. They're kind of like the size of um, like the plastic shoe boxes kind of maybe a little bit uh, shorter, you know, than the a shoe box, but they're taller certainly than the plastic shoe boxes and they're cute. So I think these will actually be really great for organizing within my larger like Rubbermaid, whatever you know, plastic bins, the large ones that I have for Christmas. I think that these will be nice to kind of separate things. Like I could put all my candles in here that are Christmas specific, or I could put like special ornaments or I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I'm happy to uh, have picked these up. I think they're going to be really good for Christmas time. So for lunch today, I'm having more of the lentils that I made the other day. I didn't have much rice left, so I'm just kind of eat it kind of like this, just like it'd be lentil soup or something. Um, then I'm gonna have a pita and the rest of the hummus and have some water and of course, Gilmore Girls. You guys, I'm so depressed right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I found this bed on Craigslist last night. It was posted 16 hours ago, so it definitely went up yesterday. It is the most perfect brass bed in a size queen. Oh my gosh. And this is exactly what I'm looking for, but I'm going to, when I find one, spray paint it um, like oil, oil rub bronze or black. And I just called and he said he sold it this morning. I'm so sad. I've been looking for this bed for so long and you guys know. I have been talking to that one lady and she says, oh, you know, maybe next month, maybe next month. So I was like, all right, let me just keep looking. And I found it last night. So I said, okay, I'll call tomorrow. No, nope, I already sold this morning. <sighs> oh, so terrible, but what can you do? I'm just gonna have to keep looking. But it is about 3.20, Evie is still sleeping. I just finished lunch. I finished some computer work that I had to get done um, for the company I work for and I really have to clean the kitchen, but Evie's sleeping and I don't wanna risk waking her up because she already, I heard her fussing when I was eating lunch and you know, she's tired and she went down late so I wanna give her like the longest nap possible. So I'm trying to be quiet. I think I'm gonna, I have to fold laundry so that's quiet. I'll probably do that um, and maybe 
just maybe I'll bring it in here so it's not I usually fold on our dining room table which is like kind of right underneath our you know our stairs to go upstairs so her bedroom's right there so I think maybe I'll bring it in here and we'll try to stay quiet but <sighs> I'm so sad I need to just close this page and stop staring at it and move on with my life Money. I want my money. Mm. <laughs> what are you saying? Hey. Oh, you say I want my money. I want money. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen that on YouTube? It's um Will Ferrell, and it's called like the Landlady or something. And it's this little girl. She's probably like three years old, and she's the landlady. And Will Ferrell's like the tenant, and he's like I fight, arguing money. with her. And she says, she says, I want my money. So Evie, we were like talking about it days ago. And my sister kept saying it to Evie and Evie was repeating it. And then now she keeps saying it. What are you saying? I want my money. So Evie is eating lunch. You want to go outside? Um, and I'm cleaning the kitchen. Yeah, we gotta put your shoes on to go outside. So while Evie plays outside, I'm gonna go ahead and clean the kitchen. And basically my method for cleaning the kitchen, well, step number one is you must light a candle. <laughs> so I have Marshall Fireside going. The flame's going crazy because the door's open. The breeze is making it go crazy. But, okay, that's step number one. Then step number two is I like to clear off all the surfaces of anything that doesn't belong in the kitchen. So if there's like... Stuff that needs to go elsewhere, I just put it there. Things that need to be hung up or whatever, put them away. Then everything that's left behind, I have to deal with. So like on this side, um, I had to like, you know, curl up a bunch of cords, put them back in there, consolidate the fruit and vegetables into there, and I'm charging my phone. So this side's basically done. This side, I have bananas that need to be frozen, so I'm gonna chop them up and freeze them. This fruit, and vegetables, well vegetables basically, and herbs were for my parents' garden yesterday, so I need to... I'm not sure what I'm doing with them yet because we'll see. I gotta deal with that. Um, and then this is a book that my husband <laughs> took from my parents, borrowed it. Did you guys ever watch these, The Far Side? Or um, read it, I should say, these comics. They're hilarious. So he, I guess, wants to read it. It's so old. Um, but yes, that's there, so I need to deal with that. This side, I just have the iPad. I cleared off the stove from any pans from this morning. I cleared off the counter here for the most part. Here's a little tip. I didn't have any more matches to light my candle, my three wick, so I just used this really long skewer and just lit it with the stove and then I lit my candle. So I'm gonna save that, put that away. These flax seeds were in our freezer, so I like to, these are whole flax seeds and I like to grind them. So I'm gonna go ahead and grind them and put them in here and then freeze them. I filled up my rice container with the brown rice and that is sugar, um, so those are good to go. This side I like to clear out all the dry things that are in the drying rack. Stuff that I had already washed previously and is already dry. And then finally I make sure that the dishwasher is empty or at least everything in it is dirty that's in it, like right now. And then I have my sink filled with all the dishes that I've collected around the room and put them in here. So now I can deal with all these, put them in the dishwasher, and all the other surfaces are clean. Okay, mostly clean counters. I just, I think I'm gonna chop up that pineapple because it is about done, if not overly ripe. Um, and I have made a few changes, if you guys maybe have noticed or not. I swapped out this, um, drying rack from this side to over here. I just really like the idea and the look of this countertop right here being very clear. So I just have a candle and this little decorative um, boxwood. <gasps> Did you find a leaf? Wow, let me see. But in order to have this nice clean countertop, I did need to move my roll of paper yeah. towels. So I actually just put it right here down Mama. in this cabinet. Yeah. Um, and it's really easy Mama. to get to, and I just think it makes the yeah. counters look a lot yeah. neater. Yes, my love. It just makes this area look a little bit more put together. What? What do you want to say? <laughs> Alright, so it is already 5 o'clock. I don't know where the day has gone, but it is already 5 o'clock. And I never got my afternoon iced coffee, so I'm going to make some now and have it while I'm making dinner. If you guys haven't noticed, Evie loves to start talking and calling my name every time the camera comes on. 
Do your kids do this too, you other YouTube mommies out there? It's like, it, she knows. She knows that the camera's on and she wants to be on display. But anyways, I'm gonna make ooh, uh, my iced coffee now. And I want to make the butternut squash pasta tonight. But it's five o'clock and I don't know how long it's gonna take to cook the butternut squash. I don't know if I was supposed to like roast it ahead of time. I could have sworn it was much earlier than it was, but what can you do? Okay, this doesn't seem to um, take very long. I think because you cut the squash into pretty small pieces. Uh, uh, I don't think it's gonna take long at all. Uh, yeah, you want your water? Okay, so that is the plan for tonight. I need to get my butternut squash and peel it and dice it into little small pieces and then I cook it in the pan with like onions and stuff. I'll link the recipe. This isn't like an original thing, I'm just following a recipe I found online. I'll link it below in case I don't do every step or show you every step I should say. Um, I'll link it below if you guys want to make it again, but I don't even know. We'll see how it goes, if it even is good or not, but I gotta get going on it. Alright, so this is what the sauce is looking like right now. I cut the butternut squash into little squares, like kind of like that size, little cubes, and it was about half of that large butternut squash, or about three cups, and then it has garlic, oh wait, I didn't put the garlic in yet, oops, <laughs> I'm going to put that in, and the onion, and a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, it said you can put red pepper flakes, but uh, that might be a little bit too spicy for Evie, so I'm not going to do that. Hey guys, so I wanted to show you how my dad opens these types of pasta. Instead of like cutting the top off, you just hold it like this, just like that. Alright, so that pasta I just opened is boiling away and it's going to be in there for about 8 or 10 minutes. And then I took the roasted squash off of the stove because I wanted to cool down. Just so when the pasta water is done boiling, I'm going to take this, that the squash that has started to cool down a little bit, and then you put it in your blender and blend it up and you use a little bit of the liquid from the pasta water because the pasta releases starches and so that starchy water is a good liquid to use in the sauce to kind of loosen it up. Um, if you don't have a blender or if you have an immersion blender that you put right into the pan or the pot, um, that's a good thing to use. I don't have an immersion blender, so I'm going to have to put it, I'll have to transfer it to the regular blender and then transfer it back onto the pasta, but such is life. Okay, so I switched things up again. I'm going to do the green beans, roast them in an oven, 400 degrees, um, and I put slivered almonds on top and then a little bit of um, the vegetable broth that I mixed up in just an old jar. I just take that bouillon base and just shake it with water. So I'm going to put that in the oven. And my pasta water is done, which means I need to make my, I need to put this squash in the blender right now, make the uh, dressing, or the, the sauce, right? Pasta sauce, yes, that's what I need to do. All right, so here's how the pasta turned out, and the little bits on top are um, like crispy fried sage. You just toast up the sage in a little bit of olive oil. Um, and yeah, there's the pasta and the green beans with almonds. And that is dinner tonight. All right, so Dan is about to give Evie a bath. Let's see, it's all set up. Yes, she still gets bathed in the sink because our sink's nice and big and it can handle it. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Finally fold that laundry that I was supposed to fold all day. Um, and that's going to be it for today. So thanks so much for joining me for Vlogtober Day 21. Crazy. Um, and I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. Bye.